Australia has unveiled plans to clamp down on the number of migrants under its latest 10-year strategy. The policies are meant to fix what the Albanese government calls a broken migration system amid a growing housing crisis. Some of the most significant measures include tightening visa rules for students and low-skilled workers. It's expected to halve the total migrant intake and return it to pre-pandemic levels over the next two years. All those looking to study or work in Australia will face tougher English language requirements and higher wage thresholds. We are going to make sure that we bring numbers back under control, that we build a better planned system around essential things like housing, and perhaps most importantly of all, that we build a program that delivers for the national interest. Prime Minister Anthony Albanese says Australia's migrant numbers need to go back to what he calls a sustainable level. Australia had boosted migration numbers after COVID-19 to help businesses fill staffing shortages. But the sudden surge in students and workers put pressure on an already tight rental market. Nationwide rents have increased 7.6% for the year to September. That's the highest since 2009. At least one overseas education consultant says Singapore students looking to study in Australia may be required to take an English test. While Australia's overhaul is still in its early stages, one firm expects the impact on Singaporeans to be limited. By and large, uh, Singaporean students should not be too affected because we are an English-speaking country. Our schools are all teaching in English. Um, however, looking forward, there may be some incidences or very particular incidences where uh, such a rule may require a Singaporean student to take an additional English test on top of the studies that they've done in Singapore. So this remains to be seen at this point in time. But he adds it's unlikely the move will deter Singapore students from considering furthering their studies there. That's because of its close proximity to Australia and the recognition of causes offered, such as its physiotherapy and occupational therapy programs. He says there has been a handful of queries from parents. All these include whether this will mean longer processing time for visa applications, which typically take up to a month. In terms of delay, uh, remains to be seen, but the delay could come in from that English portion, i.e. for the students to be able to book the English test to meet the requirements and have the documents submitted for the actual student visa application. 